Hello, this is Everybody Loves Alf with another board game review. Uh, today we've got Pentago, multiplayer Pentago. Uh, I played it at school. It was I saw people. Actually, I, didn't, I don't think I even played it. I just watched people playing it. And since I love Connect Four, and this game it doesn't even take a spin. It's like a different game, but it has to do with connecting five in a row somehow in different ways. So this is definitely my type of game. And uh, as you can see from the back, it's got like an unnatural amount of awards, so I, I didn't think I could go wrong. So, uh, and, and plus, this, this isn't the original because it's 3x3, three three, but uh, it, you could play the original, which is 2x2 two two squares, on this game. So I felt like I was getting two games in one. So uh, let's open it up and see what's inside. Got a play and strategy guide it tells you some strategies. Uh, got the ooh ah game board. Looks like that from the other side. It's got to be like this because you could take one of these blocks and rotate them. They all rotate, so that's pretty nice. I saw some people complaining that the middle block move it turns as well, and that gives advantage to whoever gets pieces in the middle. But that doesn't make any sense because you just make a house rule that says you can't rotate this piece. Because there's a version that you can't move the middle. And yeah, let's put this here for a second. Ooh, ah, colorful. They're double sided, it's like red and blue. I think there's enough pieces if, like two players are playing and just two players and they want to use red and blue, I think it's okay. You could just start using another color. Let's start a game of Pentago. Basically, each player takes turns putting one of their color on any of these dots, like that. And then after that, you have the option to rotate any of these squares 90 degrees. That's important. But obviously, I mean, with this one move, it would be pointless to rotate anything 90 degrees. And even if you rotate this one, it's still symmetrical. So the rule is, if there's a piece on every single uh, square, then you have to rotate it. Otherwise, you don't have to rotate it. So then, let's say blue puts it there. And yeah, like I said, the goal is to connect five of these in a row. So it could be horizontal, it could be vertical, which is same, it's a square, so it does, does kind of the same thing. Or it could be diagonal, anyway. Um, it could be on two, three, or four blocks. It could be uh, connected, depending on which way you connect. They even explain that in the rule book, uh, all the different ways of connecting it. So I haven't played with three or four players, but I think it would be fun. It would be a lot of different pieces on the board, and you have to choose your circle more wisely than a two-player game. I don't think it's too much space, three by three for two players. But you have the option to play two by two if you want. And that's the game, so hope you enjoyed this board game review. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section.